All right, welcome back to Mountain Flyers coverage of the Interbike Trade Show presented by Reeb Cycles and the Leadville Race Series. I'm Butch Peterson hanging out with Dane from Easton Cycling. Hey, Dane, what's new here at Easton? Uh, the, the biggest thing that's new for us for 2014 in mountain bikes, 650B wheels. We have two options now, Haven 650B and Vice XLT. So Haven is by far our most popular wheel. Uh, in 26 and 29, that's just been our bread and butter. In aluminum and carbon, that's the go-to. That's the classic all-mountain wheel set. Perfect for enduro racing, uh, aggressive trail riding. Haven wheels are light and they're strong. So we've taken that Haven wheel and we brought it to the medium 27 and a half or 650B size. Couple great things about this wheel wide inner rim width, uh, 21 millimeters internally, 26 externally. So it mounts right up with a, you know, a healthy sized tire, 2.3, 2.5 inch tire easily. Uh, fully sealed UST tubeless rim, uh, no rim strip, no sealant required. We do that with a proprietary spoke nipple. It's threaded internally, just like a standard nipple, and externally where it threads into a riv nut on, onto the rim. With that design, in the truing stand, it's gonna true just like a regular wheel. It looks like a regular wheel. In fact, it uses a standard spoke. But that design keeps this completely sealed. We don't need to drill through this. So it's really easy to set up tubeless. All right, so uh, how often would you have to true this wheel yourself? I mean, how often do you have to re true your wheel? Me, personally, I got a set of Haven carbon wheels three years ago, put them on my Nomad. Uh, I'm kind of an aggressive rider, I crash a lot, um, crash a lot, case jumps, hard on my wheels, ride a lot in the rocks. I went three years without truing the wheels. I, I tensioned the rear wheel, spoke tension started to loosen up a bit, but I literally never trued them. Oh, and one thing I'll mention, I loaned them to a friend for the Downeyville Classic. Friend's name was Aaron Bradford. He won the Downeyville Downhill that year on my wheels. I got him back from him after the race was over, and I continued to ride him. So it says a lot for how strong the wheels are. All right, that sounds pretty durable. All right, what else you got here? Uh, let me just mention the price. Okay, sorry. $9.50 on the Haven. So it's a, a premium aluminum wheel. It's really good. Uh, if that seems like a lot, we have another option. So is that the Premier? The Haven? It is. For, for 27.5 or 650B, Haven is our, our pr premium premium offering. Next level down is Vice XLT. Uh, this wheel is 750 MSRP. It takes the exact same rim as the Haven, so it's fully sealed, tubeless, really all the benefits you get from that. Nice wide rim, but we lace it to uh, a little bit more affordable hub set. It's a little bit heavier of a hub set. Um, it's how we get the price down. Still very durable. Uh, it's worth mentioning also that we've had kind of an overhaul on Easton Hubs in the last year where we, we abandoned our preload adjuster. Preload adjuster was a source of some uh, headaches for some folks where it wasn't adjusted properly or it was actually loosening up while they were riding and they were getting premature bearing wear. We, have, um, we saw that as a problem and we fixed it. So we don't have preload adjusters on any of our wheels now and we are offering a retrofit kit for anybody that has Easton wheels. They can contact us and get a, a kit for free. So just like that new M1 hub on the Haven, this wheel also does not have a preload adjuster so really good bearing durability. Uh, nice stiff wheel, nice and wide, great wheel, Vice XLT and it's 750. All right, 750 for the Vice XLT, and how much the Haven again? 950. Okay, Dane, show me some of these grips and bar tape. Yeah, so grips is brand new category for us. You know, Easton is a handlebar manufacturer. We're known for handlebars. We make the best handlebars, uh, especially carbon. But one thing that we've really noticed in the last few years is customers calling asking about torque specs for their lock-on grips on their carbon bars because you can damage a carbon bar by over tightening your lock-on grips it's possible uh, we don't get a lot of broken bars but we do get some that are pretty gouged up and uh, you know there's some real damage there so we saw a need for a carbon friendly grip so that's what we designed these new Easton grips are carbon bar friendly the reason that they are called carbon friendly is the clamp 
clamps onto a plastic sleeve that's inside the grip. That sleeve is what contacts the handlebar. So the aluminum clamp doesn't actually contact the carbon bar. That means there's no risk of over tightening it. That's the biggest thing about these grips that makes them different. The other thing you'll notice, the rubber goes over the clamp. That means that they're easy on the hands. You're not feeling that metal clamp while you ride. A couple other cool things. Um, the material we use is called elastomeric polyurethane. 98% of the grips on the market are made out of something called Kraton. Elastomeric polyurethane is a lot more durable. Uh, in fact, we have some grips that I'll show you in a minute that same pair of grips, same bike, same amount of time. One was made out of Kraton, one was made out of elastomeric polyurethane. The Kraton one was very visibly worn, worn through on the ends. And the material that we chose looked practically new. So it's something that's really going to hold up over time. When you choose a colored grip like this, UV rays aren't going to affect it as much. The color's going to stay brighter for longer. Uh, one other thing worth mentioning is there's two widths. These are the 30 mil. We also do a 33. So if you're a guy like me that likes a thin grip, you go for the 30. If you like a thicker grip, you go with the 33. All right, so they're both pretty lightweight. They're, are they heavy? They are not heavy. They're both really lightweight. Um, are they comfortable? I have to look up the weight. They're very comfortable. Uh, there's a little bit more material where your palm contacts the grip up here, so you get a little more padding. And then you have these really cool textured finger points here. So uh, really great for riding in the rain. Your hands aren't going to slip off even if you're not wearing gloves. And retail on these is $25. So it's a great price point, really comfortable grip that's going to hold up. And you're not going to need to replace it as quickly as some of the other grips. All right, and how many colors do they come in? Six colors. Well, what else you got on the rack here? What else can you show us? New handlebars. Uh, so this, for 2014, we've upgraded our EC70 and EA70 handlebars to a full 720 millimeter width. That's up from 680. So trail riders everywhere are learning the benefits of a wider handlebar. So we're accommodating them with wider handlebars. So you'll notice uh, this is the low rise EC70. You'll notice that our EC70 flat bar is even 720 now. So a great bar for your, your 29er. You want to keep it that front end low, but you want a nice wide bar. This is it. All right, what's the narrowest bar you have? Narrowest bar is still the EC90, EC90 SL. But you can cut these if you want to, right? You got the little, yeah. Yeah, you sure can. You can cut them to any width that you want. Uh, you're only limited by how far in you can put your controls, but you can see you, you can really take a lot off of this bar. Do you ever ride like tight, twisting, wooded trails that you might not want to have something that wide? I do. That's practically all I ride. And uh, usually I cut my bars around 750. Um, I start with something like the, the Havoc bar or Havoc 35 bar I even trim down. These are full 800. So I feel like 750 is a really nice width for the kind of riding that I do where I ride. Uh, there's a couple of trees on some of my favorite trails where 750 you're just barely squeezing through. A lot of people don't like that to cut it that close. A lot of people want a little more wiggle room so they might want to cut it a little bit narrower. Right. So just because you're buying a, a really wide bar doesn't mean you have to keep it that wide. It's typical for people to customize for their own riding. Absolutely. That's why we put these cut lines. So easy to trim them down to size. The reason we make them wide out of the box is you can always cut them down, but you can't add material after you bought those bars. All right. Good stuff from Easton. Bars, wheels, and grips. I'm Butch Peterson with Dane from Easton, Mountain Flyer Mag. Oh,